first series. There he goes out to the slot. We know that he likes to be a pass catcher as well. McCord going deep, finds his man caught for a first down and plenty more. That's Trevor Pena that was right there for the reception. Guy, and that's where he is, lined up in the slot, a bit of a cushion, and that's what McCord saw. He runs right by Catalan. That's McCord looking to his right, delivers over the middle, finds Gadsden. He's got the first down and out. I know Gadsden was such a good receiver for him last year, looking for it more. He gets it again, third catch of the drive is a gain of seven. Very efficient drive so far for McCord. He was going to roll out to his left. Shovel pass is through. Touchdown, Syracuse. Well, Quint Allen bulldozing his way through after a shovel. Well, it looked like he could have just handed it to him, and he would have had a hole there because Antonio Doyle took a little bit of a weird route and didn't set the edge. So McCord kind of realizes that. No one is on Allen at all. Spread the love as well. Four different targets. Hit Gadsden three times his tight end. He's going to go back to the air. This time able to find... Nab was running around back there. This time a play action. McCord looking deep. Goes over the middle. Finds his man Gadsden. Gets into the 40. And he is brought out of bounds by Tony Grimes. What a pickup. Just so comfortable. Gadsden is coming from the tight end position on the right, right next to the tackle, and just runs a bit of a crossing route, and he's just a mismatch for Jackson Woodard. Mature play for the former Buckeye. He does have five interceptions on the season. McCord gets rid of it quickly through the middle, and there is a late flag at the end of that play. That's number three. There it is. The foul. See what he does early. Yeah, he's got hands on him early, but it didn't really look like he was so impaired when he came out of his break. The ball was behind. Then goal now for Syracuse. Back to Allen. Allen pushing through. Stopped at the line. No, he gets in. Syracuse, touchdown. They go up two scores. 13-0, LaQuint Allen. Well, it looks like Alu Alu Tuiolomotu, who got dragged into the end zone, <laughs> along with the football and half in 2017, and now here he is leading the Rebels. Play action, Hosmalik Williams going to his left, trying to scramble out of some trouble, and he gets the first down. No doubt they started slow last week here. UNLV has struggled on third down on the season, and get this one this time. Who else? Ricky White the third. The captain, Ricky White, a guy that started his career at Michigan State, inexplicably has become an elite receiver. And now through the middle and going is Jet. Jet with a blast off past the 20 to the 10. He's brought down. And now UNLV is right back in business. Here is just the dive part. Straight down the middle. A nice wall off block from Balingai. He mix it up. Try to find the hot hand. Williams will pass to the end zone. Touchdown UNLV. Kaleo Balingai makes the reception. His second touchdown of the season. Jump pass here, off the fake to Green, and he does jump. He could jump over maybe like a little bit of a phone book with that jump, but he is able to get up over the line of scrimmage. Nice air on the ball. For UNLV, and now here's Hosh Malik Williams. Good field position over the middle, finds Ricky White the third, who's still going. White past the 30, White to the 20, to the 10, tripped up at the three. What a gain right there for UNLV. 53 yards to Ricky White. On Ricky's face, that's the go in the go-go offense. Beautiful fake to the running back, Devin Green. Perfectly delivered by Haj Malik Williams, who just started his first game for the Rebels last week. We just talked about the crazy story. Maybe not the wildest week anybody's ever had in Las Vegas, Trent, but pretty wild for UNLV football. Malik Williams back with him is Devin Green. Snap gets away. Williams picks it up. Now he's going to tuck it and go. Haj Malik Williams drives in. Touchdown, UNLV. As the center, and it doesn't matter. Williams gets that right hand on it, goes up to get it, and kind of catches Diggs in a tough situation because that's not where the play was being blocked, so it becomes a broken play. Very awkward for everybody. Cal McCord, no trouble rolling the dice. He'll do so in Vegas right now. Third and 25, pressure is on. He gets rid of it in time, but coming up with a stop, Fisher k -Mac is all over. On McCord to where he takes a hit, and this is a big hit. k -Mac right on his back. 
UNLV blocked a punt for a touchdown last week against Fresno State, and this is nearly stopped again, brought down at the nine-yard line, there for the stop, Jet Elad all over. The punter, Jack Stonehouse. Huge part of what UNLV does, that's Ricky White, who comes in and almost makes the play to block it. Stonehouse knows that White is gonna take that ball right off of his foot, so he tucks it and tries to run and maybe do a rugby kick no way. Two bags for Malik Williams. He'll throw right side, one on one, got him. Touchdown, Casey Kane, UNLV, three straight scores and a celebration. It's Kane, now first he looks over to the left for Ricky White, which creates really that one on one situation. Kane versus Clarence Lewis and the kid out of New Orleans, transfer from Texas, six foot three, 200. Ricky White was there so fast, the ball was never kicked. McCord on the rollout is able to find Allen, who gets across the 30, and he ends up picking up a first down. McCord, over the middle, has his man open is Gadsden. Able to convert it. It looked like Malik Chavis, yeah, just got caught in the route. That's how good of a route runner Gadsden is. Maybe Jackson Woodard having a similar relationship with Shear. This is going to be a handoff over to Allen. Allen. Gets through a tackle, stays up, gets the first down. And Woodard's going to step up and just cannot get there quick enough past Weatherspoon to make that tackle. Cat-like jump to the outside by LaQuint Allen. Corn looking to the right side. Just has to throw it away. Oh, drilled it. So a response for Syracuse. UNLV gets a stop, but the Orange still get through. UNLV has a lot of quick drives. And Syracuse had some long ones. Here's Willis trying to get a long gain past the 20 to the 10. Willis trying to tiptoe his way through. Finally shoved out of bounds by Catalan. I want to see this from a young back. Uh, have a couple runs and then get better and better as the drive goes on. And the defenders get more and more tired of tackling the guy. A little straight arm with Catalan. Each of those guys with six catches tonight. McCord looking left, gets it through, and that's a touchdown. LaQuint Allen, with his third score of the night, has put Syracuse back on top. Action was to that side on the right, and it's just Cameron Oliver versus the back, and it looked as if he had about one more. One minute, and they've had two already tonight. Go, go, going fast. Williams has to go, go out of the pocket, and he turns it over. Picked off, interception, Deuce Chestnut is there, and the Qs are getting it back. First turnover of the night. Hence the, the pick, and Williams is still trying to run that screen. You can see it's a screen because Jalen St. John's out there trying to lead through. Yeah, they got the whole offensive line kind of moving out there and turning. Just a weird looking play. He did not expect the ball, maybe. Was a freshman All-American at Syracuse, leaves to go to LSU, now is back home and making an impact. Meanwhile, the handoff to Willis on the outside, turns the corner and gets into the end zone. 21 yards, Yasin Willis is in. People do not like tackling a dude like that over and over again. And you see Catalan just try to get the legs. No chance. Runs right through him like he's made it nothing. Taxed here early in the third quarter. Williams with the pass. Goes over to the right side. Finds his top target in White who gets the first down before he's knocked out of bounds by Clarence Lewis. Clarence Lewis makes a great turn. Back over to the right side. This time it's De Jesus who's there. I mean, you'd love to be able to call him a triple option team, but they're not. They have the ability to go vertical, like right here to Ricky White Jr. Another completion for Haj Malik Williams. Because they really like the cushion that they're getting on the edge. And if they're going to get that cushion, you see no one within five yards with the catches made. Third and goal. Haj Malik Williams dancing back there. Still has the ball. Now he's going to go through and run. Spins and brought down shy of the end zone. Usually leads to a holding penalty in these situations when you're back there running around on a broken play. But look how he decides 
just to cut it right up there and take the shortest route. There's Caden Chittenden, freshman Vegas native, converts the 21-yarder. And we're back to a touchdown game. Agent Stadium getting loud here in Las Vegas. Third down, McCord. Thought about once, now goes the left side. It's through. Caught by Gadsden. Hand off to Allen, who gets back to the line. Maybe one more. Seven catches, 107 yards tonight. And they go to Willis on the swing and nowhere to go. Casino late at night. Trying to get one more roll here, but it's broken up. Jalen Catalan, who's the nation's leader in interceptions, gets a big pass broken up. Syracuse to punt. Remember the last time they tried to punt? It didn't go too well. One LV with a stop and now a block. Back to back games with a block punt. The ball is still loose. Trying to track it down to the end zone. Six for you and LV. Charles Correa makes the play. Ricky White with the block and Correa the scoop and score. The Rebels are right back. Their punt return team has made a huge impact. Ricky White with his second block in two games, really third since he caused the fourth down stop on the last one. And I've never seen a ball go so far untouched. <laughs> but mistakes if you're going to do that. 8 of 13 tonight on third down. They've been great there all season. That's an interception. Jackson Woodard picked them off. Woodard's second interception of the season turns the tide at Allegiant. Huge competitor in every way. A leader, Woodard, with a timely interception, gives the Rebels the ball back. They'll be on the season. Will it be right here? Third and three, Williams. Gets the pass through, it's caught by Williams. And Ricky White, rather, gets his way through. Offensive weapon, and that is Ricky White, and you trust your new quarterback to make the throw. He set, sets up, sets his feet, lays it out. He did that desperate. Williams misses first two passes. He's night, or 17 of 19 Saints, and now on the keeper, gets the first down plus. The give is to Thomas. Thomas spins his way through, breaks a tackle, dives forward. Hine up the field and breaking tackles in the contact zone, right in the teeth of the defense. Really good tackler, Darren McDonald misses him there. Archer and Haj Malik Williams is making everybody in Vegas forget about that. Here's Williams, rolling to his left, gets the pass through. And that's Kaleo Balingai there for the reception. Taking their time on the clock inside of five minutes to go in this game. Malik Williams with time, now tucks it and goes past the 20. Sheds a tackle, has a first down, and that's going to set up first and goal on the 13-yard game for Haj Malik Williams. Thomas and Green both back with Williams. Play fake to the middle. He's got his man, Ricky White the third. Gives you and LV the lead once again. Haj Malik Williams so sharp. A little bit of an RPO look, but it didn't look like Jet Thomas ever thought he was going to get the ball. Right over the middle, right on time, or drive from Barry Odom's team. This is going to be the 51st pass attempt of the night as he gets to go. McCord's pass complete, and it's through to Meeks. Meeks brought down. It's going to be a handoff to Allen, who is met at the line, gets through it! He's got the first down! And Syracuse stays alive with just over a minute to play. Looking left side, throws it to Meeks, he got it! Touchdown, Syracuse! And the Orange have climbed back within one. Gadsden on the front side, and here is the backside one-on-one -on -one situation. Very admirable job by Tony Grimes, just trying to fight with Meeks, but Meeks just too big, wants it too bad. The ball too well thrown by Kyle McCord. And he comes down with it, looks like that right leg was down with possession. He goes in motion to the left. Empty backfield, Williams, pump face, still with it. And he gets tackled down in the backfield. Fidel Diggs is all over him back there. Fourth down coming up. And UNLV's got a kick. Wow. 
Caden Shittenden, a 41-yard attempt. Drilled it. And UNLV gets three and game tying drive. Four plays, four runs so far here in overtime. Make it five for five. It's Allen this time and a flag coming in at the end of the play. Woodard Jackson again Woodard. with the tackle. Personal foul, chop block, offense, number 57 and 74. 15-yard penalty, second down. Left. Yeah, the cut down and the contact. You can't have the cut down and the contact. Third and a mile here in overtime. It's Cal McCord. Pressure is on. Pass gets through to Allen. What a tackle. Woodard stops him at the line of scrimmage. But a flag at the end of the play. Woodard's holding his head saying, what do I have to do to this game? That doesn't make a difference other than Whitmore staying in the game and the first half of the next one. But what do you think, Mike? Here's a last look at it. Maybe he didn't head him, hit him in the head or neck. Let's see if his head or neck pops up. And they certainly do. In goal, here's McCord. Trying to win it for Syracuse. Gives it to Allen. Allen is stopped by Woodard. Still going. No! He gets through! Allen gets through! He wins the game! Fourth touchdown of the night. Woodard thought he had him stopped. Allen said, not tonight. I mean, two great players, Jackson Woodard, right in the hole, stopping Allen, but he keeps those feet going, gets the angle going, gets his right arm over. Watch him get that arm over when Woodard moves the arm, and that's it. He's going in. What a battle of wills at the end of this game between the UNLV D and the Syracuse offense, and Syracuse offense wins it. Wow, what a game.